Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Garden. I am Blue Phoenix. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. This is my flamp studio where I share my film knowledge with you all of how I have developed a relationship with plants and also I share a plant vlog on Wednesdays of what I do behind the scenes on developing my home based plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens. We're located in Fort Worth, Texas, home based. Um, sustainable so if you like this kind of content um, I recommend liking my video and then subscribing down below with all the fur further information with links provided for easy access onto all of our websites all right thank you all let's get on to the video I'm going to share with you um, on how to care for your propagation box these are now available on my website um, this is something that I've been working on. It's a little my first my first thing in progress, and it, I'm really I think it's adorable, and I think it's really cute, <laughs> and it's fun, and it's a little propagation box. So you have this nice little fun lid here. These are homemade, uh, and inside you are it's filled with uh, your favorite propagations. They're going to be categorized on the website. Um, under the category propagation boxes. Um, you'll see this one is the string of propagation box. So this has a string of spades and then it also has a string of hearts, orange river uh, variety. So I kind of want to keep it kind of fun, you know, um, help starting plant parents out. So in here you'll see Okay, so in here you'll see it's filled with sphagnum moss um, and then also your propagations. Your propagations are going to be well rooted or either semi rooted. And when I say semi rooted, I mean that it is starting to root. And what you need to do is normal care, bright and direct light, um, the little top, the lid keeps it with humid as so um, you can just keep it with the lid if you want to keep the humidity on it but be careful on doing so so that way you don't burn the plants in there um, I you could do that if it's in your grow tent um, I'll leave it in my grow tent and it's actually underneath a couple of plants so it doesn't have like the direct light from it but it has light still receiving from it and it grows really well but if you're going to keep it in your grow tent and you want to keep it with the light directly on it um, I would keep it without the the lid and um, that way it really like receives all the light in it and it doesn't also um, cause uh, rot to your plant because the high humidity and the light will cause it to rot if you're not careful with it um, that's with all propagations, by the way. That's just how propagations are. If it's in a really like moist environment, it helps them develop roots and establish themselves, and then also grow new new plants from there. If you want, you could also take these out and then place them into um, a planter, uh, a, another little small arrangement of yours that you like, or you can keep them in here and keep propagating from there. I think that's great um, and you have one of our little logos on here that I designed myself it's actually um, each plant is uh, a customer favorite plant so you'll see the Monstera Saltipicana that was a big favorite of people there was the Calathea white fusion the lipstick the black lipstick plant and then uh, the begonia taco nut so i like to kind of keep it a little bit like involved that way you know so <laughs> i don't i don't know if that what is it it's not like secret meanings like little secret hitting meanings but like it's it's like you know there's thought behind it and so you can these are great for like upcoming holidays you're going to receive this 
either in a box if it's shipped to you or in a bag um, or in a little box as well um, I try to keep it as eco-friendly as possible and reusable so you can also uh, take the propagations out from here and then boil the sphagnum moss and then reuse that again so if you don't even know which sphagnum moss to use you know you have like you're just new and you're just, you just want to start off with something this is great all you have to do is mist it keep it in a bright indirect light you don't even have to keep the lid on it you can just up just like leave it like that and they'll grow easy what i would like to do is <laughs> what i would like to do is just make plant care easy for everybody it's fun it's enjoyable there's just so much that it offers um as someone that i really that's that has really grown from having a relationship with horticulture and plants and it's just really i'm I love I love the life and I enjoy the things that I do and I'm very passionate and I'm even more I get I get such a joy just by sharing my knowledge and then also sh like trading plants with other people it's like the fun journey of it all you know and, and you get to meet cool people along the way different people just doing really like different cool things and I think it's so amazing and so cool the way you know it's uh, they're growing is well, for the string of is this one has like it'll put off like light green runners kind of and then they're uh, like really light and green and small Let me see if I can get a close up of it. flower but that little tiny thing that's growing that's that's what it is um, there's another one right here so the whole plant is active it's just, um, it's small little like propagations, you know, you, you just want to like enjoy what it, what, what it has there. And then also, um, what it, what you can share from it. It's, you want to be that, you want to share your plants with other people. I think that's always fun. I, I have a take a plant, leave a plant. So I put off like propagations in there I've recently just put off put there like um, olive tree propagations I I have an olive tree and I was learning how to propagate it and learning more about it and uh, I think that's I think that was fun and that's great and people now have like their own little olive tree a little part of my garden at their garden <laughs> to water it to keep it watered all you have to do is just mist it and that's it no don't water don't you don't need to water it at all you just need to mist it and that's it um the humidity will actually drive more of it to be like moist so just leave it leave it be uh you can remove it all from in there and then wipe it all down with a microfiber towel um soap and water and then if you even want to go a further process um sterilize it with alcohol that way it, it's a sterile environment when you re replace your cuttings back in there. Like I said, you can boil your, your sphagnum moss. Remember to make sure you, make sure you re remove your cuttings um, from there. And if they're rooted already in there, you just kind of want to maneuver that little uh, roots off. Some small parts of the roots might be damaged, but it's okay. That's my guide on how to um, care for your propagation box. You can look onto my blog for further look a little detailed more look uh, some pictures also that i will post on there um, for guidance so that way it helps everything is linked down below i appreciate you all so much for watching this video supporting my channel supporting my blog um, thank you all to really like helping create this awesome plant shop you all are wonderful thank you for watching my video you all have a great day bye everyone the light how cute is that? Is that not just like the cutest thing ever? Boop.